Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having a great day so far. So today I wanted to do another perfume video. You guys loved my last perfume video all about sexy, feminine, but still really strong, sexy, sensual women. So if that is more your style, then I will link that in the description box so you can see that one if you missed it. But today we are talking about soft perfumes, perfumes that aren't going to offend anyone, perfumes that's not going to make anyone feel any kind of negative vibe, nothing that's going to overpower people or put people off or have people not want to sit next to you in the office. So in my last video, a few of you guys who are based in Canada, who live in Canada, told me that you guys have really strict rules about wearing perfume in the workplace and actually you are not really allowed to wear perfume in the workplace which is really interesting to me because I've never heard that before and that's certainly not the case here in the UK you know you can do whatever you want but it just got me thinking okay so you know what would be office appropriate perfumes what perfumes would I wear to the office because it is different when I thought about it I was like do you know what? there are certain perfumes I wouldn't wear to the office um, and there are certain perfumes that have caused me issues in the office before from other people um, so yeah it's, it kind of just got me thinking what are the best office friendly inoffensive subtle soft perfumes but you can still enjoy you still feel like you smell beautiful all day long um, and here is what I came up with so the first one is a classic and this is Mongolon by on obviously um, this one I talked about in my previous video it's one of my favorite perfumes the caps just fallen off and as you can see it's literally got the tiniest little dribble left now this one manages to be quite sexy but still ultra feminine and it's very light which is why I sometimes prefer or a lot of the time I prefer a different perfume but this one is like my go-to for the office I feel like it's just perfect for a light feminine but still sexy it still gets to be me um, and what I like my preferences but it's just a lighter and it's just it's never going to be in your face too pungent no it's not going to make anyone feel like sick or just it's too much or it's too in your face I don't think many people really could hate this perfume I just don't think it's got enough punch to it to make you feel passionately dislike for it so I think this is an excellent choice for the office next up another one I've talked about a lot before and this is Armani Lay or she depending on you know where you're from or L or there's whatever you her so this is another one that I've talked about a lot again a very very sexy kind of almost could be unisex fragrance but and it lasts a very very long time but without a huge projection so it stays quite close to the skin but it is still there all day long but it's never too much it's never too strong again very few people are going to take a real dislike for this it doesn't travel very far so you're not going to walk into a room and smell this straight away on somebody but you know sitting next to someone you might be able to pick it up and you will be able to smell it on yourself all day long ultra long lasting but never too much and never traveling too fast so it's overwhelming everybody in the office space next up one from Sylvain Delacour again you know this is one of my favorite perfume brands I absolutely love all of her perfumes this is one that I have in the mini travel size for this exact reason I love to pop this in my handbag and take it to work with me this is the scent Helichrys oh it's just it's just beautiful and it's very fresh which I think is a good kind of scent to lean towards for the office because I think anything very sweet very cloying very thick uh, very very unusual or sexy or very very vanilla all those scents that people love hate those are kind of the ones to avoid I think for the office because obviously you're gonna have a group of people in there who have all different tastes and all different kinds of scents and all different kinds of preferences and if you pick the very extreme fragrances with very extreme notes in there or notes that are very divisive love hate notes those are the ones that you should kind of avoid for the office if you just don't want anyone to go oh or oh, I can't sit next to you or you know just leave the room 
but this one it's mega fresh but again very unisex still keeps that sexy note still lasts all day long as all of her perfumes do but it is it just smells almost like fre like imagine going out and standing in your garden just after it's rained and that's what i kind of feel like this smells like a very natural evocative but not in your face scent it's just absolutely fresh is is the best word to describe the scent and this is one that i keep in my purse for the office one that i don't currently own or have a bottle of but i know is an excellent choice for the office because i have owned it before and i exactly for this purpose and that is chanel chance again a very light fresh smell something again that you know lots of people love it very few people hate it and it's again a very feminine very easy to wear light fresh scent for the office so finally i want to finish up on a couple of tips for alternatives to perfumes so for example in canada i mean i don't, don't know if you guys are rule breakers but I am and if someone told me I couldn't wear perfume to the office I'd be devastated I don't know what I would do I wear perfume just around the house when it's just me so I don't know what I would do but this is ideal for you guys if you don't want to spray perfume it's too much for you um, but you do want a hint of scent so this is the Elie Saab uh, per scented body lotion perfume and this is the original scent this is a perfume that I had and loved for a very long time very very feminine very girly very light very floral but with the body lotion instead of the perfume it's very very soft and subtle but again put this on your body on your arms on your chest um, on your legs before a day at work and you will have a little bit of scent about you without it being like perfume and if you work somewhere you know hot or warm or you're working outside or like me working kind of a physical environment so as your body heats up you're going to you know project more and more of the scent that you're wearing this is again an excellent choice because it's not sprayed directly on pulse points it's not going to react as much to if you warm up and and start you know smelling a lot more strongly of your perfume so this is an excellent choice to use a body lotion instead of a perfume a scented body lotion this is one of my favorites i think this is beautiful in the body lotion option and this is one for me that is very controversial because this is the coco mademoiselle body oil so again much like the body lotion this is an option that isn't as intense i had real issues with this scent when i was pregnant um as you know if you are pregnant or if you've been pregnant or your other half has been pregnant or anyone you know has been pregnant you probably realize that you suddenly get the nose of a bloodhound and you can smell everything 500 times and that's what i was like when i was pregnant if anyone wore this it made me physically sick um, even if I was just walking past someone in the street or someone in the shop had it on it actually would really make me feel strongly sick and I couldn't wear it or smell it for years after I had had my baby because it would just reminded me of that sort of sick feeling but this I've had for ages this body or you can see how little I've used up but this is if you like coco mademoiselle but you know how strong that perfume is and how far it travels um so it is a bit overwhelming for the office and given that it had that kind of effect on me when i was pregnant i feel like a lot of people might have a similar feel or reaction to the perfume itself but again the body oil on your arms on your legs is going to be a lot softer and it's not going to heat up and project as far if your body temperature heats up or if you're working in a hot place or you're very active. So again, this is something to consider if you love Coco Mademoiselle and um, maybe give the body oil a try because it's going to be lighter for the office and less overwhelming for people who don't like this scent. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And of course, as always, please let us all know what your favourite office friendly, office appropriate perfumes are in the comments down below. We would love some extra tips and I make lists. I have really long lists from all you guys recommendations for me to smell and to try that you think I would love and I love that about um, our little family here on YouTube. So please uh, continue to share all of your recommendations for us all in the comments down below. Have a great rest of your week. Otherwise, take care for now. Bye 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 bye. bye.